Hi, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I want to talk to you about a recent article that came out. It was published by a news agency, so this was not a scientific article that came out. But the headlines were certainly not only thought-provoking, but fear provoking, and that was that vitamin D could be life-threatening. So, you know, this is something we definitely have to look at. What does this mean? What were they referring to? Um, there's been a lot of data about making sure that nobody is saying there is a cure for our current virus that has to do with nutritional supplements. And that's fair enough. You know, there is, there is no cure that we know of, and so that's fine. But this went way beyond that. So what the article stated was that taking vitamin D could cause high calcium in your blood, which is called hyper, meaning elevated, uh, calcemia, calcium. And, and that is a serious condition, hypercalcemia. It can lead to confusion and disorientation and kidney malfunction and kidney stones and heart rhythm issues. So having too much calcium in your blood is definitely a dangerous thing. But does vitamin D3 cause it? The answer is no. So what the article did not go into was something that we have talked about for years and years and years, which is the importance of balancing vitamin D3 with, and if you are uh, um, a subscriber to this channel, you know the answer, which is vitamin K2. And so vitamin D tends to uh, help absorb calcium, but the vitamin K2 tells the calcium where to go. And where do we want calcium? We want calcium in our bones. We don't want it in our arteries. We don't want it in our kidneys to cause kidney stones. So um, the D pulls it in and the K2 is the directional influence that makes sure that that calcium goes to the right place. And this was not mentioned at all. Uh, you were led to believe based on this article that taking any D3 was just going to create this hypercalcemia and this very dangerous condition. So what the research shows is that you can take 10,000 international units, which is definitely in excess of anything I prescribe and most functional medicine doctors prescribe, uh, and you can do this long term and never run into hypercalcemia. Where they did find that uh, it was a problem taking D3. We're at levels, and I'm just going to look at my notes here, of over 3 million international units. So a comparison of uh, 10,000, we usually prescribe around 6,000, maybe eight if somebody's really deficient for a measured period of time. But this was 3 million up to 200 million a day that can lead to trouble, which only makes sense. It's, it's hugely excessive. So um, let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater, let alone uh, get swayed by information that is, is so erroneous and so fear-mongering. Uh, you know, what was the purpose of that was to I don't even know what the purpose of that was, but it, it certainly wasn't in anyone's best interest when we know the value of vitamin D, which is actually a, a steroid hormone. It has anti-cancer benefits. It has absolutely known, you know, 20 plus studies showing the benefits of vitamin D for your lungs. And a lot of the, um, uh, viruses are very lung-centric, lung-focused. So anything that's going to enhance lung function and, and protect your lungs, of course, is a very good thing. And vitamin D is known to do that. Not saying it's a cure for a virus, but it's protective. And that's what we want. So it's an immune 
It's a strong immune defense. It's protective for lungs. Um, there's a receptor called your ACE2 receptor that's actually sort of the, the funnel or the door that um, the COVID-19 virus uh, uses to, to infiltrate cells because remember viruses aren't alive until they infiltrate your cell and then take over its uh, mechanisms and reproduce. And that ACE2 receptor is something that they utilize, but if you have enough vitamin D that they're not uh, as efficacious in, in getting a foothold. So there's very strong evidence on this. So should you have heard this news article and uh, you had some trepidation or maybe stopped your vitamin D altogether, please know that the uh, false data contained in that was uh, mighty. It was, it was um, kind of mind-boggling and, and irresponsible in, in my view and, and many others that I've heard uh, speak negatively about this news article because it was, it was really a fear-mongering direction and not stating facts. So, is it important to take vitamin D3? Yes, uh, we're highly deficient and insufficient in this very important hormone. Is it also important to balance with K2? Absolutely, and we've talked about that a lot. So visit my channel for several videos that have to do with that. Uh, but is vitamin D3 in normal dosages <laughs> dangerous? Uh, no. It's not. So anyway, I hope that that cleared some things up. It was uh, definitely something that got some press because it was big news and anything that kind of goes against uh, the grain of what most people are thinking, like vitamin D, good, and now all of a sudden life-threatening, you know, that's going to get news and that's what um, kind of gets eyeballs on, on various, uh, you know, social media and media channels. But uh, allay, to allay your fears, which hopefully I did, uh, let me know if I did and any other data you want to hear about this. And uh, in the interim, strong immune system is so incredibly important. So if you feel like yours is not functioning as well as it should, please reach out. That's why we're here. We can offer you a consultation and uh, really get to the root of why your immune system is not as strong as it should be. So give us a call at uh, Root Cause Medical Clinics and the telephone number is 408-733-0400. We'll talk to you soon.